What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna do a little build breakdown on the motor. Um, I get a lot of questions on like what came and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to go over some of that and I'm gonna link it in the uh, description below. So if anyone wants to go look at it, um, they have all their other information in there. Um, also, update on the transmission. There is no update, it's not here. So um, it was supposed to be here a couple weeks ago and some BS happened and it's just not here. But still being optimistic, still hopeful it's coming. Um, if not, I don't know, we'll get something else done. Um, I can drive it, it just doesn't wanna go into gear. Um, and uh, like, going from neutral to reverse, you gotta have to rev it up a little bit, kind of like a manual, like you're slowly easing off the clutch for it to engage. That's what it feels like when you're giving it gas. Um, and then it engages, and then starting off from like a stoplight or a stop, there's a dead zone from like mm -hmm. idle to like 2000 RPMs, there's literally nothing, like you can rev it up, nothing happens, and then you can feel it bump in. So I know something's messed up there. Um, but off topic, let's get back to what we're doing. Ooh, this isn't good lighting. We'll go outside. I try not to start the truck too much in here. So you gotta give her the old push to get out of the garage. Cause there's people literally that live directly above us. There we go. Ow. That's normal. Oh my God, we have lighting. Cool. It's a LQ9, it's an iron block. It came out of uh, an Escalade. Um, I originally was just gonna leave the way it was and just do a cam in it, but I went ahead and um, had different pistons and different rods put in. They're Wiseco forged pistons and, and rods. Um, they're three cc dish pistons, so it helped with compression. It was supposed to bring it down a little bit, but I went from the stock 317 heads to stock 799 heads, and that brought the compression back up. So it's a little over 10, maybe 10 and a half. I don't think it's 11. I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's right around there. But we have the Trailblazer SS intake. Um, it's a common intake to buy. It's really, really cheap to get. It's super easy to install. I recommend getting the fuel rails with them because if not, you have to modify your other rails or you have to buy aftermarket ones. It's just easier to get the ones you have in there. Um, you also will have to get a different throttle body or um, an adapter plate. But if you get a different throttle body, you have to get an adapter that runs the three bolt to four bolt harness. If not, you're running the three bolt to four bolt um, plate yeah dumbass cold air intake i get like at lights i get like 105 degree air intake temps it's stupid um driving it's like 85 so it's not ever cold uh, as i was saying before the 799 heads they're stock all they are, are just upgraded springs to support the cam the cam is a comp cam 235, 243 duration on a 620 lift and 113 LSA. So it's it it's supposed to make power up top. It's not really supposed to have too much bottom end, but it it pulls pretty good. Uh, my buddy Pebs helped me install a little Mighty Mouse catch can just for just for the hell of it to have. And I went with. Uh, one and three quarter uh, headers. I should have went one and seven eighths. Uh, these are originally going to be for my 5.3, but I blew up my 5.3 and I just never bought new headers. Um, I just kept the ones that I, that I had. So I'm just leaving it on there. It probably would make, I don't know, maybe five or 10 more horsepower with the bigger headers. Um, I have the E fan upgrade where this used to have um, a little fan shroud did the upgrade for that which supposedly is supposed to help the transmission is uh is a 4080 uh it's supposed to be built to hold a thousand horsepower and it um it i guess it held it's just some stuff didn't go right um 
with that, it's a 3800 to 4000 stall by Circle D. Uh, I have an external trans cooler for it, which is over here. You can kind of see it through the radiator. Then I also have one that's running into the side of um, into the side of the radiator because with the upgraded E fans. You can run a trans cooler on one side and an oil cooler on the other. I haven't hooked up the oil cooler yet. I think I'm gonna do an external one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um, I have, um, these are a thousand CC injectors or uh, for pound per hour. Um, they're, they're about uh, 90, 98 pounds. For the rear, the rear is just a, it's a stock 10 bolt rear with, um, 390 gears and an Eaton True Track, all new seals and everything were put in. Um, and for fuel, um, stock lines and everything, uh, except for the E85 sensor and then a Wall Roll 450 pump, which is supposed to hold a decent amount. So I got big injectors and a decent sized pump. Also, it does that all the time. It won't fire up on the first crank. It's, it does that, it's done it since I've been tuned. That's it for today guys let me know if you guys have any other questions or uh ideas of what i should do for another video uh well like subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time